standard answer in astronomy for extraterrestrial life is that it has to be there. We look at our surrounding, from a physical point of view, we see nothing special about our planet. There are billions of stars in other galaxies seem to be so similar to ours that it's hard to believe that even by pure chance there wouldn't be another uh, civilization. Dark matter we can see by the effect of its gravity. We can measure gravity, that's not too hard. And then we look for the matter and it's just not there. What I do for a living is uh, I'm an astronomer. I use X-ray telescopes in space. We probe the most energetic phenomena in the universe, if it's black holes, supernovae. I chose to be an astronomer because the excitement of getting new observations from a telescope, it's hard to beat that. I worked for two years at NASA. Since the observatories are in space, you don't need to be at the telescope. You can just be an astronomer. And that's something that we do in Israel. The level of astronomy here is very high. We compete with the best. The Usher Space Research Institute is unique in Israel. We bring together researchers from many departments, if it's aerospace engineering, if it's physics, if it's chemical engineering. The Technion and the Usher Space Research Institute as well has its own university-built satellite, the Gervin TechSat, which is one of the few satellites in the world that were built by students at universities. We're developing these technologies for the pure sake of science, but also for the use of mankind, for Earth observations, and also for defense. We're going to launch, uh, hopefully, the second Technion mission to space, and we're planning to launch three nanosatellites that will work together, will stay in formation, and uh, provide location of sources on the ground to very high precision. The Technion missions, they are totally civilian. The first satellite was a civilian satellite. It had science experiments on board. It had communications that was open to radio amateurs around the world. The same thing is going to be about the second mission. The Asher Space Research Institute sees itself as a pioneer for the future as well, and we keep developing new technologies, keep exploring new frontiers in space, and hoping that what we do today in the university is going to be uh, common to mankind in the years to come.